How are we doing guys? I'm back with another Mod Central USA video. Today we're going to install the programmable remap. Um, this is also a rapid fire board. Um, use the same board for both rapid fire and programmable remap. So you can actually use this video um, to install as a tutorial for both. Um, the first video that I did with the easy remap Basically, I showed you how to take apart the controller, how to put everything in, how to do the paddles and stuff like that. So, today, I'm already disassembled. I'm pretty much ready to go. I don't want to make this another hour-long video, but, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to get this installed. Uh, it's pretty easy. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is um actually i'm also going to make this a uh, paddles video because i promised i would do that um with paddles there's really only a few places you can fit them you'll see this piece right here this needs to be cut off with a knife uh carving knife and on both sides of the shell there are these white standoffs on both sides one here one here um basically i just use a pair of pliers and just break them off they come right off um if you want your buttons a little lower in the back you're going to use to the right and left depending on which side of these little pointy things here right here uh, if you want them lower, if you want them a little higher up in the shell, uh, I would go in between where you cut the standoffs off and here, and that's what I'm going to use today. So just to give you an idea, I just do a pilot hole. There you go. And then uh, I go with the bigger drill and drill it out. Can't do this on camera. Give me a second. See? Bigger drill. And then, like I said, you need to cut these standoffs off. On both sides. And then, uh, just use your craft knife and just pull out any extra material by just going around it like that. And on the outside as well. Okay. Now on the inside. And then you're ready to add your... I use a 12, give me a second, there we go, these are 12 by 12 by I think either 7.5 or 7 or 8, I don't know, between 7 and 8, I'm not 100% sure on the size, I bought these a long time ago and they work for every controller I've ever put buttons in for grip buttons instead of actual paddles on the back of the controller and basically I'm not going to waste your time with gluing them in figure out the way that they sit best and glue them in the controller now I'm going to put this to the side for the moment I actually have one that's already done 
You can see, bam, right there. They click, and we're good to go on that. So, next, I'm gonna kind of show you how to install this programmable remap board. Hey guys. I usually don't do edits like this, but I didn't like the way that the first video came out. So I'm going to be doing this video. Um, you guys already saw the remapping your paddles video. And since this is a jump cut, you should have seen, I left in the part about how to set up uh, grip buttons. And I'm going to use this and splice it over the part that I didn't like. So what I want to do is I basically want to just show off the um, install of the programmable remap. So first thing you're going to do is uh, this little speaky thing in the middle. Uh, you're going to just put that in there. It's got some uh, little legs that touch these two posts. They go to this side of the controller if the controller is facing that way. Just stick it in there. Okay. So the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this board in. Now, when you put the board in, you could desolder those wires if you want to. I'm gonna uh, where's my tweezers? Okay, and then my little screwdriver for this hole. Okay, this is kind of how I do it. You can do it any way you want. I have a little sticky thing on the back. You can use um, a little bit of hot glue if you want. But uh, I found these little sticky things. And I'm just going to stick it down. Okay. Then uh, after that, I'm going to pull these out. I don't need... Actually, you know what? I'm going to leave those in for a second. Um, next, I'm going to... Make sure that the LED is not on top of this button. And I'm just going to use the tiniest amount of hot glue. Uh, give me a second. Basically, you don't want to put it direct on. Put it on the tip of something so it dries for a second and put it at the very edge just to kind of hold the board in place there. Okay. And you can pull these out. They're not needed. Okay. And then this U1 point over here, that has to be soldered. It lines up with this big solder point. So. And the TP point here lines up with this tiny little via and it's really difficult to solder. So like you would need like a razor or a very sharp drill bit and very carefully try to remove the residue. I've got a really sharp X-Acto knife. Now, this point is not necessary. You can leave this alone. The only thing is, if you want to have your touchpad remapped to one of your remap buttons, then you would need to solder this. And then you would just 
get a little bit of solder on there. There you go. It's pain, but it can be done. I would just honestly leave it unless you really need that touchpad click remapped to a button. I don't think many people do, but it's there just in case. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna flip this over and we're gonna flip these little legs over and you might have to use a little bit of force The idea is to get them to line up with the L3 point and that big point next to it. So just enough to hold it on. I'm going to do the L3 point first. Now I'm going to do this big point. That's the ground. Okay. And then while you're at it, tin up your L1, your L2, your M4, because I'm only doing two remaps on this one. One on this side, one on this side. And then this one is the same thing. Pull it over, that one lined up a lot better, a lot faster. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna get that one, and that one, and then I'm gonna tin R2 and R1. And I'm also going to tin map one. There you go. Okay. Now, next is these two points over here. Um, I'm going to try to show them to you. Actually, I'm going to show you all of them. All of them. So, this point is the left R2, uh, L2, left 2, and the one below it is L1, okay, going to want to solder wires to those, and then over here, I've already got a wire on it. You can see that is R2. Now, kind of hidden below R2 if I can get the focus. There we go. Is R1, but It doesn't pay to try to get to that. So what you want to do is you want to solder to the fourth pin down from the top. And that's your R1. That's actually an easier point to solder to than the one that's hidden down in there. Okay, so let's solder all these up. Oh. Okay, 
I know, I say okay a lot. So, I showed you the points. At this angle, you're really not going to be able to see it, but I will show you everything when it's done. You need to be very careful with your soldering iron. You don't want to accidentally burn the flex cable. We'll actually trim these up when we're done. I'll show you that as well. Okay, so I have L2, L1, R2, and R1. strip this one so I'm just going to use the soldering iron to burn off the covering expose a little bit of wire okay now grab my tweezers this one can be cut pretty short And this one can as well. Okay. Or one. And or two. Not D2. Be careful of these. Don't burn them. Be very mindful of where your, the rest of your iron is. Be careful of all holes. Okay. This one, I'm going to just leave this wire. I know it's a little long. Eh, you know what? I am going to trim it. Um... Before I do, I'm going to put my thumbsticks back in. Okay, make sure all your flexes are out of the way. I have the two microphone flexes over here that I took out. I'll show you me putting them back in in a little bit. We can actually put this screw in here just to hold things in place for the moment. We're going to be taking that screw back out. So don't mix these up. The bottom one is L1.
And then the top one is L2. We could trim these up a little bit. There you go. I've got them all out of the way. I've got those two tinned up down there. Let's put all our flexes back just so that we know where everything is for the moment. That one, make sure you grab them by the tabs, not by the actual flexes. You could do this by hand if you wish. Here, I'll show you. This one is the big one. It comes up through here. It slots in over here like that. and it clips onto the clip there. And it goes back in. This little one, I could probably do this by hand. Yep. That's what everything looks like when it's put back together. <coughs> Next, if you're doing grip buttons, which we're going to do in this video, I know it's jump cut, but we'll jump back to where I connected this up to the grip buttons. You want wires about that long. Give me a second while I uh, strip the wire. When you're done, just kind of meet them at the board a little to the side. I like to use just a little bit of hot glue. Just to hold the wires in place. Now, you can take that screw back out, put your battery holder back in, careful though, 
don't forget about this little microphone that wraps around and it also slots in on the battery holder then you can put your screw back in close that up there you go put your battery in and that's it you are done now all you have to do is connect your wires to your tax buttons I'm going to jump back to the original video that I shot for that part because it's the grip buttons and this one I actually have to do paddles so one of you lucky people who either mailed in a controller or purchased a controller I'm not sure uh, which one I'm going to do it for yet but somebody who just asked for basic remaps of cross and circle you're going to be getting this programmable remap um, stay tuned for how it works I'm going to have that part of the video at the end and I'm going to jump back to the original part of the video now Take our shell, solder up the wires to the paddle buttons or grip buttons, whatever you call them. Don't leave them standing up like this. Push them down carefully. You don't want to break them off the tack button. Okay, that's it. Tuck your wires up over the battery like that. Screwdriver. Putting your top screws first. Snap that bottom piece in, it'll help you with those buttons. And then put the screws in for the bottom. Check your buttons, they click nicely. Put your top bumpers back in. Put your face plate on. Make sure those buttons all push. Perfect. You're done. That simple. Let's move over and I'll show you how to use it on the computer. So we moved over to the computer. I've got the controller here. And you can see I've got one, two, three, four on the face buttons. I've got the D-pad. I've got the four R1, R2, R3, uh, R1, R2, L2, and L1. I got these buttons. I got these two, which is the R3, L3. And then I've got these three, the touchpad, the PS button, and the microphone mute. Now, to remap, hold down all four buttons. Until you see that red light come on. Then you hold the button you want to map. 
and you tap the button you want to map it to and let it go hold the next one let it go and then press up on the d-pad and it saves so we did triangle and square which is one in four one in four so I'm going to go back into remap mode hold all four top buttons L1, L2, R1, R2 red light comes on I'm going to do X I'm going to do O up and two and three two and three that's it so that is the programmable remap uh, also you can use this tutorial like I said for the rapid fire install if you have any questions reach out to me um, I will be offering install services and I will have these boards up on eBay and Amazon and check the description links for everything that you need to know thanks for watching any questions please email me